okay in this video we are going to talk about calculations in chemistry so many students have reached out to me concerning calculations in chemistry so this video will be based on mole concept because every calculation in chemistry revolves around the mole concept so what do you mean by mole mole is the amount of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of particles. It's the amount of a substance that contains Avogadro's number of particles. So what do we mean by that? Just like when we say one dozen is equal to 12, when we say um, one score is equal to 20. So one mole of any substance is equal to Avogadro's number of particles present in that substance. So an Avogadro's number is a constant and the value is 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 number of particles. And these particles can be they are elementary particles it can be atoms it can be molecules it can be formula units it can be ions so which means if we say one mole of sodium for example one mole of sodium is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 is power 23 atoms of sodium do you get that so we have to know much about the mole concept for us to be able to solve calculations in chemistry so this mole has different formulas mole let's call it mole relationships mole relationships the first one is that number one mole or let's say number of moles number of moles and the unit is mole is equal to mass in grams all over molar mass in gram per mole that is the first relationship between mole mass and molar mass. Then we also have number of moles is equal to concentration, concentration, and the unit of concentration is mole per dm cube times volume multiplied by volume in dm cube remember i have once said it that dm cube is equivalent to liter so you can say the unit of concentration here is mole per liter and the unit of volume is in liter so we have number of moles is equal to concentration times volume also based on the definition number of moles is equal to number of particles number of particles all over avogadro's number that is another way to calculate the number of moles number of moles is equal to number of particles and remember these particles are elementary particles like atoms molecules formula units or ions so number of particles over avogadro's number and this Avogadro's number is a constant. We've seen it earlier. 6.02 times 10 is power 23. Alright. Another relationship for calculating mole for gases. If you have gaseous reactions for gases, number of moles is equal to volume of gas 
in liter or dm cube divided by 22.4 dm cube this 22.4 dm cube is the molar gas volume at stp that is the volume of one mole of all gases at standard temperature and pressure is 22.4 dm cube so there's a relationship between the number of moles and volume of gas which is number of moles is equal to volume of gas in dm cube divided by 22.4 dm cube all right and also for gases for id gases okay let's say for id gases Some of you should be familiar with this equation called id gas equation and the id gas equation is pv is equal to nrt so we can make number of mole which is n the subject of the formula so n will be equal to pv over rt where p is the pressure v is the volume and this pressure is in atmosphere. The unit of volume is dm cube or liter. And this R is the gas the gas constant. And um, it's like the gas constant. And it's a constant. It's something like 0 0.0821 liter atmosphere per kelvin per mole yeah and this temperature this is temperature and the unit is kelvin so and here is the number of mole so, these are the different relationships to calculate the number of mole which you have to really know for you to be able to solve calculations in chemistry if you can really know these five formulas very well then you'll be able to solve calculations in chemistry so we are going to do an example using this okay so let's consider this example calculate the number of moles present in each of the following 5.3 grams of sodium trisocarbonate 4 4.25 times 10 is power 21 atoms of copper, 200 cm cube of 0 0.025 mole per dm cube H HCl solution. Okay, so let's start. Solution. Question 1. We are given the mass of sodium trisocarbonate 4, mass, which is equal to 5.3 grams. Now we can calculate the molar mass of sodium trisocarbonate 4. Let's do that. Molar mass of sodium trisocarbonate 4. To do that, we are going to add the atomic masses of each of the elements present. Sodium is 23 multiplied by 2. I believe you can do this to find the molar mass. Plus carbon is 12. Plus oxygen is 16 multiplied by 3 and that will give us 23 times 2 that's 46 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 that's 48 so 46 plus 12 that's 58 plus 48 and that's going to give us 106 grams per mole as the molar mass now we are looking for the number of mole calculate the number of mole let's go back to the formulas of all these formula the best formula to use is this because we have the mass and the molar mass so to calculate the number of mole we use this relationship number of mole is equal to mass over molar mass so we can now say that number of moles number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass which will be equal to 5.3 grams divided by 106 grams per mole. So 5.3 divided by 106, which is equal to 0 0.05 mole. 
so the answer here is 0 0.05 mole of sodium carbonate so let's go to the second question it says that calculate number of moles in 4.25 times 10 power 21 atoms of copper so we are given the number of atoms number of atoms which is equivalent to number of particles we remember that we said the particles can be atoms molecules ions or formula units so number of atoms 4.25 times 10 power 21 and stay is power 21 atoms and then we have to calculate the number of moles so we can use this relationship that says that number of mole is equal to number of particles which here is atoms over Avogadro's number which is a constant so we can use that and say that number of moles is equal to number of particles over Avogadro's number so now what is the number of particles 4.25 times 10 raised power 21 atoms divided by what is Avogadro's number we have it here Avogadro's number 6.02 times 10 raised power 23 6.02 times 10 is power 23. You don't need to memorize this Avogadro's number. It's a constant. You will always be given. In fact, in this question, I was we were supposed to have the Avogadro's number as a constant. You will always be provided in your question. So you don't need to memorize it. 6.02 times 10 is power 23. The unit is atoms per mole. Because one mole contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. 4.25. So let's do the division. So it gives us 7.06 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles. 7.06 times 10 to the power minus 3 moles. Or we can say it's equivalent to 0 0.0071 mole yeah so let's solve the third question 200 cm cube of 0 0.00 0 0.025 mole per dm cube what are we given we are given the volume the volume is equal to 200 cm cube and we are given the concentration the concentration 0 0.025 mole per dm cube 0 0.025 mole per dm cube so now we have the volume and the concentration which formula are we going to use we are going to use this formula that says number of mole is equal to concentration times volume because we have the concentration and we have the volume but the volume we were given was in centimeter cube instead of dm cube decimeter cube so what are we going to do we have to convert this volume from cm cube to dm cube more like converting it from milliliters to liter so to do that we are going to divide it by 1000 that will be 200 divided by 1000 and that will be 0 0.2 dm cube 0 0.2 decimeter cube so now we can use the formula number of moles is equal to concentration times volume which is equal to the concentration is 0 0.025 mole per dm cube volume is 0 0.2 dm cube so it should be equal to let's do the math 0 0.025 times 0 0.2 and that will be 5 5.0 times 10 raised power minus 3 mole which is equivalent to 0 0.005 mole so I'm going to give you a question to solve and try it so i'm going to give this exercise calculate the number of moles present in 16 dm cube of hydrogen gas at stp i remember that the molar gas volume 
at stp is 22.4 dmq which means that at standard temperature and pressure one mole of all gases um occupies 22.4 dmq of volume so drop your answer in the comment section don't forget to like share drop your answer in the comment section and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you